pivoting data, unpivoting data, transposing data. What's the deal with all of those? That is what we're going to look at in this Excel Power Query tutorial. Let's get cracking. We're going to have a look at some Excel data. And what I'd like to do for this is just look at pivoting a data, how to pivot tape data and unpivot data, and why you want to do that to get into data within a pivot table. So how do you get data that's basically looking like this? Okay, we got north area and east and all this type of thing. Most people, they sometimes color the data as well. Yeah, so how do I get all of this sort of stuff? Okay, and then I make it into a table format like this so I can be able to pivot the data. That's something that's uh, that we're going to look at. So um, let's just talk about pivoting data. Let's just take a nice, uh, easy understanding of the pivoting of data so we can change it. So let's, uh, let's start a new spreadsheet. I'm going to do control N. So with pivoting data, let's say you've got a database, um, excuse me, a database, but a spreadsheet that has data that's across like so. So you can see it like that. Okay. All right. So then you have things like the area. So let's say north south, east, and west. Okay, you can follow along as well if we want here. And I want this data all here, which is good. All right, and I'm gonna just type in some random figures equals rand between, nice function for that, 10 comma 100, control enter to put it all in there. I'm holding down control and copying it, and then it's control shift and V to place the values. All righty then, so when I come to analyze this data, and let's say if I pop just area in the top here, when I come to analyze this data, have a look at what happens. If I try and highlight this one here and then say, let's analyze by using a chart, and let's say a 2D column chart, it's not too bad, I suppose, but I mean, I will have to do extra stuff if I wanted to work out how much I made in total by month. At the moment, it's splitting it up by north, south, east, and west. And maybe if I just wanted to compare two areas, maybe north and south or east and west, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Let's have a look at what happens when I put this data into a pivot table by going to insert and pivot table. I'll put this on the same sheet, just pop it at the top. So with a pivot table, notice that the column headings you can see just at the top there um, are the months. Now I want a column heading of month so I can drag it into rows and values and can do some analysis, analysis on that. So it is gonna get a bit problematic. So this is where Power Query comes in and Power Query can really help you get your data ready for a pivot table, yeah? So let's do that. Um, let's get rid of that pivot table. Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna make is a duplicate sheet so I can go back to it. And I'll tell you what, I'll make all of these uh, available on a link. I'll put the link down below in the comment section um, and in the top right hand corner, hopefully there'll be a link. I'm, I don't know which side I'm pointing. You know, is it this side? Yeah, I suppose it's the top right hand corner uh, as you're looking at me. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just select the data that I wanna put into a pivot table. Now you can cl click anywhere in the middle of the data, it doesn't really matter, but as long as the data is selected, Okay, now instead of directly putting it into a pivot table, we're going to click on data and go and click on from data, sorry, from table range on the ribbon. And we can see create table is selected here. I'm going to click on OK. And this loads the data up into Power Query with me so far. So the first thing is the table name isn't great. So I'm just going to double click on that and call this one sales data. And that should update the table name within Excel as well. So what I want to do is I want to keep the area as a column because that is structured okay, but all of the months I want to unpivot in as much as I want to change all of the months from column headers into rows within the data with a heading of month. Make sense? Hope it does. So what I do is I will go here, right click on area, and I'm going to unpivot other columns because I want to unpivot all the other columns, but I want to keep um, area that column with all the area the same. So when I do that and look what happens, so I've got the area, that's repeated as necessary, the month, 
If I double click at the top and type in month to change that, and I've got the values there. So now I can load the data back into Excel by clicking on close and load and close and load two. And when I do that, I can have a choice here. So if I say close and load two, eventually it will come up. I'm gonna use pivot table reports, existing worksheet, and I'm gonna pop it up in P just here, just like I did before and click on okay. And now instead of having separate months, as I did before, I have a month just here, which I can drag to rows, get a list of the months and the values there like so. Excellent, my months are ordered within the school year. And if I go to my orders, I can choose, there we go, January to February. There we go, and that should do the trick there, there we go. So that's how to unpivot data. You wanna take data which are in column, column um, data that has column headers that you wanna change into rows. So what about pivoting data? Because this data is already pivoted, why would you wanna do that? Well, you're not gonna do that as um, often as you would unpivot data in as much as if you wanna get data in the correct formats, but it is really handy to know. So let's just have a look at a bit of a meaty issue here. Okay, so let's go back to this data here. It's quite a meaty one. I haven't merged the cells, but you get the idea how people arrange data. They arrange it in such different ways, but it's just impossible to analyze. Um, needless to say, if I select all the data and I try to insert a chart and do a pivot table in it, let's try a pivot table and uh, click that on an existing worksheet. It's just, yeah, I'm not getting all of the data. The months are there and I, I can't really trust that the data is gonna be reliable. I'm not seeing the area as well. It's just no go, yeah? So let me delete that and the clear all. Oops, it's on the home tab and clear all. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. I had one person say you could select the north, east, south, west areas one at a time as separate tables and bring them in, but I like a challenge. So let's see if we can do this all at once. And I'll, hopefully I'll cut and edit, etc., so that you'll get what you need, um, so that you can really know, have a comprehensive knowledge of how to get your data ready for a pivot table. So what I'm going to do is select all of the data like so, okay? And then I'm going to go to data from the ribbon in Excel at the top, click on format, so from table range, as you can see here. And this time I'm going to untick my table as headers because I want to start creating the headers myself. So I click on OK. Now in Power Query, when it eventually loads, I've got my data just here. So what am I gonna do with this? So the first thing I really need to do is I need to try to, well, firstly, transpose the data. Now the difference between transposing and pivoting and unpivoting is transpose is basically taking data that's in rows and putting it in columns, yeah? So if I go to transform at the top and click on transpose, it just changes the data around so yeah, so what was in rows is now in columns. Now, before I promote the column headers, I need to copy all of the areas down, yeah? So I'm just gonna select them, all the data. I'm just clicking the data here and then Control A to select all. And then I'm going to go to the Transform tab here at the top, click on this Fill drop down menu and choose Down. And any time that I see a null, it will fill down. We looked at that last time, didn't we, with Merge Cells? Okay, so now I'm ready to promote the headers. So if I click on first row as headers, which is at the top, which is great. So next, I need to remove all of the extra months that's included because I have different months as column headers. Uh, I just need to remove them. So what I'm gonna do is have a quick look across and then select the months that I don't want and delete those months. So if I go across, I'm holding down the control key and I can select the months like so, so I can do more than one. I think that's it, and press delete on the keyboard. And now I have just one month column just here. If I drag across, I don't have all the other month columns. Okay, all right. So now based on that, what I wanna do is I want to uh, start to separate all of this data out. So what I need to do next is I need to, because I've got north, east, south, they're on different columns, but the one column that is precise, that is the same as month. So I'm gonna select month, right click on that and choose unpivot other columns. And now we can see the months coming down and now I can see the attribute and values coming up. That's looking quite good. All righty then. So what I need to do is I need to create a separate column for the area and I'm gonna use a conditional column for that. Now in practicing this before, I needed to make sure that this was a text field, this one here, before I started doing the unpivoting, I, I changed this to text so that this would work. 
So I'm going to change that to text. I'm then going to add a new column and it's going to be a conditional column. The column I'm interested in is area. So I'm going to type in area and then I'm going to say basically if the attribute is the same as, and I choose select column here, the value, then display the value. So if north, north, if it's the same, otherwise just leave it. Okay, let's just see if you can give that a go and hopefully, and yes, we can see it's come across. I think the key here, I was trying this before and it didn't work, is to make sure that ABC is selected here under value. Right then, so uh, next thing I need to do is fill this down. So back to transform and fill down. So that's filled down there, that is good. What I probably wanna do now is I just want to filter out any of the areas from this attribute column or any rows that have just areas in uh, here. So I'm gonna do that with the attribute column by unchecking north, east and south and west. And that looks good and okay. Brilliant, so now we're coming to the pivot part of it. You see, because as a consequence of us unpivoting the data that was in um, columns, now it's in, uh, it was in uh, um, rows and then went into columns. You can't have two columns of the same name. So you've got quantity two, quantity three, revenue three, that type of thing. So I need to split these columns and then bring them back into column headers. So let's do that. So if I click on attribute under transform, there's a nice little button for split column. I'm going to go by delimiter and it should automatically pick up the delimiter. That's fantastic. It's quite clever. The underscore have to type that one in there, but it's done it for me. Okay. So it's split this up and I do not now need this column here with the numbers here because it can't have columns of the same name. So I'm just going to press delete on that and we're really ready to go. Um, and the last thing we really want to do is month is fine because it's matching up, but I'm going to select this here. And then I'm going to pivot this back. So I'm going to pivot this column, which will change it from rows into column headers. So the values column for this I want is going to be the uh, value. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to choose advanced options because I don't want it to aggregate. It shouldn't aggregate because there's different numbers there, but just in case I click on OK and bang, it's looking good. So let's start start doing some housekeeping here. I've got month, I've got area, that should be text. Let's change that to text. Quantity, that should be number. So let's change that to a whole number. And revenue, that should be currency. I think I'll change that to currency. Now it's important with the steps on the right hand side that you're not duplicating yourself. Now I've got to be careful because some of these changed types that I, uh, that I changed here, I needed to do that to make sure that some of the formulas, for instance, the conditional formatting, sorry, the conditional column would work. So that's all looking rather good. Let me just change the name of this table to sales data. Okay. And it's ready to load back in. So I'm going to click on home at the top, click on close and load, close and load two. Uh, you see how, what it's done really with the, uh, what Power Query has done, it's converted all the data to a table, just a word to the wise with that. I could have maybe linked to another spreadsheet. Like say, for instance, it was in a clean spreadsheet, I wouldn't have had to convert this to a table. However, just so we can see this working, I'm gonna choose table, I'm gonna choose new worksheet and click on okay. And the data should come into a table and that's great. And needless to say, I can now create a pivot table out of this. Let's do something like find out how much quantity sold per area. So we can do that by going up to insert and pivot table. I will put the pivot table on an existing worksheet here at the top. And now I can drag area down into rows and quantity down into values like so. If I want to then rearrange it, north, south, east, and west. So if I, it's a bit fiddly, but north, south, east, west, there we go. And now we have it. So that's a little bit of an understanding of pivoting, unpivoting data, and also transposing data. And we used all three in this exercise. Now, I really, if you've watched this and you think, you know, that looks a good idea, I wanna follow along, then please do follow along. Have a look in the uh, link down below in the comments and up in the top right-hand corner, I'll give you another link uh, within there. So continuing our journey within Power Query, what I'd like to do next time is link from multiple files, you know? Um, so if we've got tons of files that's all over the shop, now especially files that are of a different format, such as a Word file and a PDF file and maybe a website, how do I get all of that data together so that I can bring it into Excel and analyze it? So that's what we're going to do. So make sure you hit on the subscribe button wherever it appears on the screen 
And if you've got anything out of this, I'd really appreciate it if you give us a little thumbs up uh, as well. Uh, that, that'd be great. Uh, and also that we at Computer Tutoring, we offer training courses primarily for businesses. But if you or your business want any help with Excel um, or any of the other programs that come with the Microsoft 365 suite or the Adobe programs we do as well, then just give us a shout. Check out our website, computertutoring.co.uk. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.